from other people, and I didn't realize that other people don't know what I know. So I think that's plenty. Oh, you know what? I'm going to finish this because if I don't, and I will just will throw it out. So I don't want to do that. You don't want to throw out food. You can peel or not peel, so you can do either way with the Kirby cucumber. With the um, regular cucumber, you're going to have to peel them. And in the summer like this, go to the farmer's market. They have great cucumber. They have very fresh one. Okay, let's get some more. Let's finish them all so you really don't waste anything. Okay, all right. So in here, I need tomatoes, sherry tomatoes, uh, grapes tomatoes. You want the small tomatoes, so it would be the tomato juice from the small tomatoes that sets more flavor than a big one. So the juice in here will flavor the cucumber. Let's get a little bit more. In the summer, I grow them in my yard. When I was in Laos, my grandmother, I have two grandmothers, from maternal and paternal grandmothers. There's the other one grow um, farm vegetable. We have farm vegetable and garden vegetable in Laos because we have two different vegetables. There's certain things that go in the farm, some is go in the garden. So I always have plenty of vegetables. Okay. In here, we're gonna make it a little bit spicy, guys. So we do two or four hot peppers. <laughs> two, one. You gotta make a word. One, two. 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 <gasps> you got it. Oh, you make me happy. Two hot peppers in there, and this is one cup of garlic. For me, I'm gonna do four or six or ten because I am hot. <laughs> so I will add a little bit here. Okay, I might cough a little bit, or you might cough a little bit. Okay, so it's perfectly chopped, and I will add it in my. <coughs> oh, nice. Is that the hot pepper? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, it is. Wow. It's hot. So, you know, now we know it's hot when you yeah. cough. The little red one was hot. Yeah, I'm going to add salt in. Oh, no, this is sugar. You can add salt in here. Mm -hmm. This is fish sauce. I'm going to show you how I cut my lime. This is how I cut my lime. I'm kind of on the side. You know, when you buy your lime, squeeze it. If it's soft, there's a lot of juice in there. If it's not soft, don't buy it. It doesn't have any juice. Different, um, different from lemon. I'm going to add my lime in my fish sauce. Fish sauce? Yes. Uh -huh. Made from fish. It's a two tablespoon fish sauce in here because I'm not adding any salt and then about a um, teaspoon sugar. We get a little bit sweet. No more lime. Okay, see how easy I yes. it was to yes. squeeze my lime? Uh -huh. When you cut it <coughs> that way. And all you do is just mix it. Let me turn up my heat here. And just mix it well. And somehow all these flavor make it work together and taste good. Very simple. I leave out the shrimp paste because not many people like shrimp paste, but it's good enough flavor here because if you put the correct ingredients to, to the food and the food just tastes good. That's the key for cooking. <laughs> right ingredients together. Don't go crazy like my mom. Take all day to cook. I say, my God, mom, what are we doing? I'm going to Avi. Um, supermarket to collect different ingredients. I'm like, my God, we have to take all day to cook? <laughs> he say, yep, that's what you have to do. I say, no, 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 this is too much. I'm going to create a recipe that doesn't need that much work. And that's what I'm doing and still tastes good. Pretty. Cucumber mm. salad. Okay, here you go, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to put this somewhere else. 
All right, we have one more dish to make. <clears throat> Here, I have beef, I have garlic. I heat my, I preheat my um, <clears throat> wok here. I'm going to add olive oil. I'm going to smash my garlic. Okay, I feel this is too hot. I'm going to remove it from the heat a little bit. You can use the mini chopper in this, but not necessary. I can do this with just by hands. And We'll add the garlic in here. How much, how much That's garlic? what you do with the um, poor coats or more or less. I like more. <laughs> for me, I, when I cook for myself, I add more than this. Well, you can come with good. Yeah, mm. it's refreshing for the yeah. summer like this, and right? This spice, and yeah. this is ginger. Where is my peeler? Actually, you don't have to peel the ginger. Mm -hmm. Because you can just clean it, trim off the any brown spot, and cut it. I feel it's a bit too hot here. I will add some garlic. I, I already add the garlic. I should do this together. And ginger. In here. And this is Napa cabbage, or Chinese cabbage is called. It's the same thing. Wash it well. Actually, they're not sandy. The Napa cabbage are not sandy. Actually, they come in a big head. Very nice. So when you work with the um, <coughs> electric wok, if it's you feel too hot, you remove it from the heat. If you feel you need the heat, you move it back in instead of turn it up and down, because it takes a while. <clears throat> okay, I have cut the beef here in bite side pieces. <coughs> so we'll put beef will go in. Add a, little, a teaspoon salt. Okay, let's put this back in here. Be careful with the beef. Don't overcook your beef. Okay. Add your napa cabbage. The beef is not even halfway cooked because the napa cabbage is also cooked fast. You have to know your vegetable when you make stir fries. So this is stir fry ginger beef with napa cabbage. This is red onions I'm using because I like red because it's good for you. And it's add nice color to your food. Let's see brown one there. Okay. Soy sauce. About a tablespoon soy sauce. And I like hot peppers. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of my friend in here. <laughs> About a half teaspoon of hot peppers, any kind. Okay. The onions can go in right now because Napa cabbage cook very fast. Okay, just stir them well. Any vegetables that has a lot of water, they cook very, very fast. They don't cook them too long, especially with beef. The beef also cook fast, like shrimp. I just use a London boil because I cut them in small bite size pieces so you don't need the expensive beef. Unless you have too much money, you want to spend more money <laughs> on the expensive beef, you can go ahead. <clears throat> okay, let me clean my cutting board here. And this is cilantro. Oh, with the cucumber, you can serve that with the grilled pork. This is my cilantro here. I'm using stems and all because the stem of the cilantro are very soft, not like parsley stems. Somehow, if you have little children in the house or you have um, 
uh, elderly in the house, you want to take just the leaves, that's fine too. So that's parsley, I mean not parsley, cilantro. And turn up your heat. See how much liquid you get from the um, napa cabbage? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's done. I will plate that for you. Let me get you some more rice. Rice is nice and fluffy. This is jasmine rice. I just steam without anything because we add enough flavor in the food so you don't have to add any flavor in your rice. So we add tons of flavor in your, in your entree and we serve it plain rice. That's how we like to eat. Okay. That's your rice. <coughs> and Stir fry ginger beef with napa cabbage. Yeah, you just serve it with it under or over. Anyway, it's fine. Just fix this. Spicy. See how fast it's <coughs> the um, napa cabbage cook. Let's garnish this a little bit with cilantro. Just coarsely chop anything green, anything color. You can just garnish, just like that. Do we have a serving spoon? Okay, let me get you the serving yeah. spoons here. And that's it. Stir fry ginger beef with napa cabbage. It's a little bit spicy. A little bit of my friends in here, guys. There you go. <laughs> Since yeah. then, enjoy. How do you like the other dish? Oh, it's delicious. Very good. Delicious. Really tasty. The had a kick. Oh, yeah, yeah, a little kick. It might kick, be a yeah. little kick in this one too. <laughs> Let me clean up right. here. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. This is still hot. <clears throat> okay. Let's put this away. It looks very good. Okay. So beef, you don't want to overcook them. You have, it has to be to very, be. very quick. Like you say, take the lemon oil and just cut it thin. Yeah, cut it thin because anything you, you want to cook them fast, you have to cut them thin. Mm -hmm. If you cut them thick, and then you'll have to cook it longer. Mm -hmm. That's what what you do when you don't have time, to, um, a lot of time to cook. Right. So it's it's not too spicy for you guys, no. right? No, it's good. Very tasty. See, so <laughs> far you have to do it very high heat, very quick, mm -hmm. and you don't do it too long. Less than ten minutes, you get your stir fry. Right. You can use any vegetables you want. And you just need to know which vegetable need to go in first and then how long do they need oh, to yeah. cook. That's the key, the key of um, making stir fries. Okay, you need some more rice? Are you good with rice? It's a lot of rice. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, if you want any of these recipes, you can go to my website, simplelaocuisine.com, or you can get it from my cookbook. Thank you so much for coming, Guy. Well, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yes.